A lot of users want to customize the text that appears in Canvas, and there's a few ways to do that, but you can't do it without the HTML code. So I'm going to show you how to go into the HTML code and edit that. So we're going to switch over here. I have some words and other words and other kinds of words. <laughs> we're going to switch to the HTML editor. Now I'm going to introduce you to a thing that might be new to you, and that's called the span. So a span starts a uh, kind of a, a font, a color, or whatever at one point, and then ends it at the end of the span, slash span. And like everything else in HTML, it's defined at the beginning. So let's start with a simple one. We're going to change the font style here by typing style equals and in quotation marks font size and then let's just do 18 point then we end with a colon and a quotation so when I save that you can see what it looks like and so now I have 18 point font so I can make it as big as I want or as small as I want or whatever other kind of fancy crap that I want to do um, right here. Let's make it 36 point. <laughs> oh, wow, that's big. Hey, okay, so that's the beginning. You can do that. You can also use the span. Let's change the color here. Uh, by the way, one good thing to do is when you start with span, end with span. Then you can go back and add your your style after this first one. Uh, the reason you do that is just so you don't forget this end code. If you think you've typed something and it just doesn't show up, nine times out of ten you've forgotten the end code. So a lot of professional coders will go in and do the beginning and the end just so they know. This time let's change the color. Color. And then this uses the color codes that we have. A, an easy way to find the color codes is to go to color.adobe.com. Now, these mean fancy things that you may or may not know what they mean. Personally, I don't, but I do know that I can grab this and move it over here, and I can find the color that I want. Once I find the color I want, I highlight its code, copy, and I could paste it right there. Again, I have to end it with the colon to say that I'm done, and then the ending quotation mark. And you see I've got that color there. I could use any of these colors on here. I want this to be green now. Man, that is a bright green. Uh, one note on color. Having a color that doesn't contrast very well with the background makes it almost impossible to read for a student or a, an adult uh, who has any kind of visual issue. So you definitely wouldn't want to do lime green on a white background. It makes it makes it impossible. But there's other times that you might want lime, lime green or now you know how to change it to any color that you want. Hey, we're gonna edit in again gonna do another span this time let's do a font so again we're gonna open the span we're gonna end the span and we're going to do a font now in this case we do again style equals oh I almost did a hyphen instead of equals that would have been bad font family then you're going to say the kind of font. In this case, I'm going to do Times New Roman. Now, see this little uh, apostrophe at the beginning and the end? That's going to identify the font. And most of the fonts that you know are options. But not that one. I made a mistake somewhere <laughs> and made it all go away. But that's fine. Let me show you how, how I'd fix that. I'm going to click here, View Page History, and I'm going to go back to look. I like that one before I screwed it up. I'm going to restore this version, and now it's 
it's totally fine. So I'll X out of the river, the history, and now I'm back to the page as I want it. Okay, I paused it and I found my mistake. So I had started the font family with the quotation marks. I'd done this in the, uh, shoot, I can't even think what they're called, half quotation marks, but I'd forgotten this one at the end. <laughs> you have to do it. I could also, I know Verdana works. I have no clue how to pronounce that. Comic Sans, which you should never use unless you teach elementary school, also works. In fact, anyone, if you want to just do a web search for HTML um, fonts, any of the HTML fonts ought to work. There's lots of them. I'd stick to a list like this one, the 20 best HTML fonts. Um, or web safe fonts. And then you can go in and use a lot of different ones. Palatino monotype, that's a nice one. I can make it look nice. You see, so I can change, change the font that I'm, that I'm messing with. Now, but what if you want to do more than one? It's really the same thing. Style equals, we'll do font family, we'll do times new Roman. And then before I do the quotation marks, I'm just going to add the next thing. I'm going to do font size. I'm going to do extra large this time instead. And when I finish all of them, then I need to put the ending quotation mark. I also need to remember to put the semicolon at the end of each each piece. So when I save that, you see it's made it extra large, and it's also changed the font family. So that's how you customize your fonts.